So brothers and sisters, uh, the Lord put on my heart to go ahead and bring back the 12 components of food addiction. Yeah, bring back the 12 components of food addiction. Um, I had, I do have a two hour sermon. I have a two hour sermon on food addiction. I will make sure it's on the Unleashed News channel. That's where you can find all of my sermons. Uh, I'll be preaching hundreds of times in Africa. I've already preached uh, what, six in Mobasa, seven, eight in Katali, the high school, nine, Presbyterian, 10, all 10. 10, 11, I forgot, Kakumwa. Yeah, there's 11 to 12 sermons I've already done in addition to older messages. So my full length uncensored content is on the Unleashed News channel. And you can access that for $10 a month, $120 a year through the minister of wellness.com. And one of the sermons on there is a two hour sermon I did uh, back in 2021 on using the power of the word of God to overcome addiction to the satanic American diet. I'll include the link in the comment section uh, right underneath the information to donate. But it's time to bring I'm a break. I'm going to break it up and bring it back. It's time. It's time. This will be the third rendition of the 12 component because this is the big deal, family. This stuff is a drug. Uh, the United States of America with three K's has spread this filthy, disgusting, satanic diet all across the globe. Uh, I'll be recording these videos. Today is March the 4th, 2024. I'm recording this from Nairobi, Kenya. I am a full time missionary. I'm an underground foot soldier. I am here uh, delivering a prophetic message to the motherland to wake up before complete destruction comes, re-enslavement, recolonization. I thank you for your support. And I know these videos are going to bless your life. I know these videos. And so please, you are expected not to ignore the commercials. You are expected to give, as I know without a shadow of a doubt, that me releasing Bringing back the 12 components of food addiction is going to bless your life tremendously. And in return, do the right thing. Don't be selfish. Don't be a leech. Don't think you can hide behind a computer and that I don't know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. God knows what you're doing. Without your support, brothers and sisters, I cannot continue doing what I'm doing. And elders all around Kenya and all throughout this continent are saying, that I am the only one doing what I'm doing with the message that I have. So thank you for helping me to save our people. Make sure you like, share, like, and share and help these get spreaded back out. I know people, many again, will be excited uh, to know that the Minister of Wellness is bringing back the 12 components of food addiction. This is the third edition. The first component, the first component is a pleasure trap. The pleasure trap. Um, the, that, that's where it all starts. You know, in the book of Galatians chapter 5, um, the Bible talks about the works of the flesh. And one of the works of the flesh is witchcraft. What I'm trying to educate our brothers and sisters over here, and they are behind in a lot of knowledge. As bad off as we are, brothers and sisters in America, they are behind a lot here when it comes to information about what the Mazungus are doing. That's the Swahili word for white people, for the Europeans. That word is Mazungu. They are, they are sorely lacking because they just don't have the experience that with the Mazungu devils like we do. And I'm trying to tell them that there's a form of witchcraft that they're overlooking, that the witchcraft that they've been taught isn't the witchcraft of the Mazunga. The witchcraft of the Mazunga is through their science. It's through their science. They pretty up their witchcraft. It ain't, they not sitting around green with a long hook nose stirring in a pot. No, their witchcraft is done wearing white coats in a laboratory. 
where they're taking God's nature and manipulating it, removing the medicinal value from a plant is what turns it into a drug. That's witchcraft. Okay, crack cocaine starts from a green plant. Opioids start from a green plant. Heroin is a plant. Meth is a plant. As you can see here on the screen, this is how it looks in its original form. But then man takes it and turns it into this white stuff. But it didn't start off that way. It started off in nature as a plant, but it had the fiber, the vitamins, the minerals in it. But when you remove the vitamins, the minerals, when you remove the medicinal value, the micronutrients, that's what turns it into an addictive drug. That's where the problem starts. And they've done that to food. They've done to food what the drug dealers do to God's plants. And that is witchcraft. And the practice of witchcraft, sorcery, wizardry is strictly forbidden in the scriptures. And if you look behind the etymology of witchcraft, you'll see it's actually the same word as pharmacy. It's the same word. It means to poison people with drugs. When you poison people's mind, the altering of the mind, using drugs to alter people's mind, that is witchcraft in the Bible. And that's what they've done to the food supply. So this is witchcraft that we're battling. That's why it's so difficult to just stay on your fruits. That's why it's so difficult not to pick up that box of cookies, that box of that bottle of Pringles. To stop eating the things that you know are killing you. You know it's killing you. But you can't stop. That's the spirit of witchcraft. The satanic American diet is witchcraft. And that's a work of the flesh. That's why it's important to view this from a spiritual lens. Or you'll never make it. Especially if you're black. If you're melanated. If you're African. As African people, we cannot afford to detach the spiritual significance to what we do. We are a melanated people. We operate at a higher spiritual level than the Mazungus. They have a melanin deficiency. That's why they hate nature, hate God. That's why they're atheists. In the history of melanated people, we have never been atheists. We've served false gods. We do a lot of wicked things in the name of religion, but atheism, that's a Mazungu concept that they have spread because they have a detachment from nature. That's why they're destroying this planet. They destroy, in, they destroy nature. Melanated people worship nature. They destroy nature. And that's what they've done to food. We've never had this situation in the history of the world. We have never had to deal with food being used as a drug. With food being more pleasurable than sex. And the reason why I say that about sex is because it gives a dopamine high more more that is more powerful than the natural dopamine we receive from sex sex is supposed to be pleasurable so that we re, that we are motivated to reproduce to continue human life and of course god designed it to be done in marriage but food gives people such a a, a more dopamine rush and somebody will say well who would choose to eat more than sex it happens all the time because the wrong food will take away your sex drive, destroys the sex hormone. We have a multi-billion dollar infertility industry in America. Multi-billion dollar infertility industry. Why? Because people are eating things that destroy their reproductive organs. People are eating things that destroy the sex drive, even when they're married. We're talking about married people that's doing it right, that want to have children. 
And the satanic American diet is destroying their ability to do that. So this is witchcraft. Food is supposed to give us two things. And these witches know this. Mac, and you can be a male witch. They call that a wizard. That all, all these movies glorifying wizards and Harry Potter and all of this nonsense. It's all an abomination. Ain't no such thing as white magic, black magic. No. When you are seeking to perform uh, miraculous acts or sources of power does that, that does not come from the Lord to give him the glory alone, that's an abomination. And it carried the death penalty uh, in, according to the laws of God. And now they're doing it through the food using their science. They've printed it up and call it science. It's witchcraft. Food is supposed to give us two things, family. Micronutrients, macronutrients. Or macronutrient. Macro means big. Micro means small. Uh, your macronutrients, that's where you get your calories. That's where all these... Mazungu idiots have brainwashed you all into focusing on the ca caloric content of the food. So that's protein, carbs, fat, protein, carbs. And that's what these idiots still to this day, despite hundreds of years of showing that is really the medicinal value of the food that you should focus on. These morons, these idiots, they are so stupid as the Bible says they are. The Bible calls names. Jesus calls names. Okay, this soft, effeminized, mazungu Christianity you believe in that is dominated by the emotionalism of women. Jesus called names. He called the religious leaders of his day wolves, dogs, Satan, devils, murderers. And that's what I'm calling them as the minister. The wisdom of this world, according to the Holy Scriptures, is stupid. So the wisdom of the world tells you if you want to be healthy, it doesn't matter what you eat. Just focus on the calories, how much protein, how much carbs. And they worship protein. Protein is worshipped in America. The Mazungus worship protein. They overvalue protein. Protein is a god in this nation. It's a God that's worshiped over the true God. The Bible says we're supposed to put the emphasis on the medicinal value of the food. What is best for my immune system? What is best for cancer? What is best for heart disease? What is best for stroke? That is supposed to be our focus, not on calories. That's the wrong mindset to have. But that's the mindset of the world because they want to eat what they want to eat. They don't want to be in what they eat. There's two things that people don't want God to tell them to do. Don't tell me what to eat. Don't tell me who to have sex with. People want to sex what they want to have and eat what they want. That's the American dream, which is really a nightmare because look how many people are on mental illness drugs, on psych drugs, including people in the church. That's why all the sermons at the past, the pork chop, these pimps in the pulpit, that's, they're pimping you with these, these feel good messages because everybody is mentally ill. Because the American nightmare, the American dream is really a nightmare. Do what thou wilt will be the whole extent of the law in America. What is, what do they promote? The works of the flesh. Why do the, all these African brothers and sisters want to run to America to sin? They want to sin. They want to dress like prostitutes. They want to seek out the prostitute. They want to go to the clubs. They want to have wild sex and they want to eat garbage food, meats from tortured animals. That's what it's about. Sex and food. That's the American way. Sex and food and loads of debt. And we have drugs and pills for you. That could enable you to continue your life of sin. Eat whatever you want to eat. We have pills that will take away the consequences of you eating. We have needles for you. We have everything you need to continue your life of degeneracy. That's the American way. And it's a nightmare in the end because you'll have no peace. And those drugs will suck the life out of you. And we have a billion dollar motivational industry. 
But we got people getting paid a quarter of a million dollars because people want motivation apart from the word of God. They want their why to be for selfish reasons. No, your why should be to please the Lord, according to the wisest, richest African king, the wisest, richest king, period, that ever lived was an African king named King Solomon. And he said in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, no, your why should be to please the Lord, because you're going to have to stand before your creator at your judgment. Your purpose should be to obey the commandments of God. And your gifts, according to the apostle Peter, should be used to please the Lord. That's your gift. That's your purpose. That's your why. But they don't want to hear that. So they want to pay motivational speakers $200,000 to tell them anything except obey the Lord. And they get paid good money to do that. And with the gift that I have for preaching, I'm supposed to be making that same type of money. But I've chose a different path. No, I'm going to teach you the truth. I'm going to be a defender of the of the laws of God. Even if it means I don't make as much money. Because, again, my why is what all of our why should be to please the Lord. And that has to be that has to be your why when it comes to this journey, your why for overcoming the pleasure trap. For understanding that this is a spiritual battle you're facing. You are under the demonic control of witchcraft. All of us are. And we con con to continually indulge in eating things we know we have no business eating. That's a demonic spirit of witchcraft. And we have to look at it like that. And we have to have a why to overpower the pleasure trap. And that why should be well done, good and faithful servant when you stand before the Lord. And the fact that this witchcraft can take you away from your purpose and your gift. Many, we all have gifts God has given us. Can you do that gift being sick? No, you, your purpose is to serve the Lord, to help others. Can you do that being sick? No. So we, we have to, we have to, we have to cry out to the Lord and we have to be broken enough to want to get past this witchcraft. And this stuff is serious. This stuff is serious family. You got people being paid. They paying these witches millions of dollars. Witches didn't get used to get paid this much money. Well, I take that back. There were witches in Tonga. There's a story in the book of Kings uh, where a witch was paid to cast a curse on Israel, Balaam, but he couldn't. And the donkey spoke to him. You can't curse God's people. Remember, the Bible says an unintended curse will not land. When you're working for the Lord, you can't curse me. So I take that back. Witches, wizards and warlocks have been paid millions of dollars throughout history to curse people. But if you're standing on the truth of the Lord, the scriptures say you can't curse a true servant of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's the same thing today. They pay these witches millions of dollars to put chemicals in the food to, to, to rewire your brain. To, to, to hatch, to, to create parasites that hatch eggs in your colon. Do you know parasites can hatch eggs in your brain? Yeah, we're talking about a full blown taker. We're talking about a full blown matrix system. We're talking about you're being controlled like you play a video game using a remote. We're talking about parasites controlling your brain like a remote control on your brain. I can't go two days, you say. Minister, I can't even go two days on fruits. And it's like something comes over me and I'm, I'm eating these chips. I know I'm not. I just watch your video, minister. Why am I eating fried chicken? I just watched your video, Minister. Why am I boiling this fish? Why am I doing this when I know it? The demonic possession, witchcraft, sorcery. Witchcraft, sorcery. As you can see, it's all, what, what is the house made of? It's made of mud. The house is made of clay, uh, mud, sand. Uh, we, 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 we put them together with uh, uh, small water. Then we construct a, uh, a house like this. But the, the only disadvantage that you have with this uh, kind of house, when it rains heavily, uh, yeah. the house cannot sustain the rain, uh, neither the winds, because as you see, the rooftop uh, it is covered with uh, with some of the linings and some of uh, iron sheets that are second hand. Uh, 
So it's our prayer for your support so that we can make a good house for them, a good shelter for them. Here we have uh, and tell them and how much would a good house cost, a good basic house cost. Yeah, uh, earlier on we had uh, we had uh, done a budget with uh, with uh, some of the foreman and it costed at two hundred and fifty thousand to construct uh, uh, a, a semi yeah. a semi permanent house. Yeah, so brothers and sisters. Two hundred fifty thousand shillings. You know that's only about one to two thousand U.S. dollars. Okay. I appreciate your support. You know how to give the cash app, the Zelle, uh, the ministry. I'll put it right towards here. You all know that I do what I say I'm going to do with your money, right? You all know that about me by now. Stop watching my videos if you're leeching off of me. If you don't have a heart to give, stop watching my videos. Unsubscribe and watch somebody else. I don't care. I'd rather have 20 loyal supporters um, than to have a bunch of leeches, a bunch of selfish leeches. Uh, soaking up my gift that's helping you in your life and you don't have no care in the world for what our people are going through and stop comparing America to Africa. There's no comparison. And they do that by, by again, getting you all to focus on macronutrients. Macronutrients not going to get you healthy. All food has macronutrients. All food has protein. All food has fat. All food has carbs. These Mzungu devils have you believing that protein equals meat. Carbs equals fruit. And then fat equals nuts and seeds. No, fool. They've deceived you like they've done everything else. An uh, apple has protein, carbs, and fat. Yes, it does. Very little fat. But an apple has protein and the den of it has carbs and all carbs aren't the same. That's why it's so dumb to focus on macronutrients. Because you'll have the there's a Mzungu at the Hippocrates, Dr. Clement at the Hippocratic Center. He speaks a lot of truth. But this Mzungu idiot is telling people that God's fresh fruit, his perfect food for human beings causes cancer. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. But that's what he's teaching people to eat a no fruit eating style when the opposite is true. Don't you ever listen to no Mzungu tell you about how to eat for your melanated body. Ever. One of the dumbest things you can do. If what they're teaching doesn't line up with the word of God written by Africans for Africans, you, you never listen to them. That's stupid. Because the fruit sugar doesn't do the same to the body as high fructose corn syrup. To group those two together, that's an abomination. It's blasphemy. And he's going to pay for that. For He's blaspheming the medicine fruits of God. Genesis and Revelation speaks about the healing power of fruits. And many of you all have witnessed that healing power. So, no, the sugar in fruit goes right to your cells. It doesn't sit in the blood. That's why if you're diabetic, your best bet is to go on the fruit fast. It, and if you're a type one diabetic. That's your best thing you can do. And the fruits is absorbed rapidly. But of course, I have a whole I have a completely different playlist on why fruits are superior or the best fruit foods for us to eat. Uh, brothers and sisters, I have a whole playlist. Eat your fruits, juice your vegetables, take your herbs. My point here is that this is where the pleasure trap starts. This is where it starts. This focus on macronutrients. And what these devils do is they take, they take, they removing the micronutrients. And when you remove the micronutrients, it turns the food into a drug. You're just getting a loaded source of macronutrients without the medicinal value. The micro means small. It's small, but it's significant. That's your vitamins, minerals, phyto means plant. 
There are thousands, literally hundreds of thousands of of plant specific nutrients, medicines only found in plants. They're found in greens, beans, onions, mushrooms and seeds. But our our bodies, our human bodies, our melanated bodies, we can absorb the phytochemicals much quicker through the fruits than we can the vegetables. Because as I prove in that series, we are not herbivores. Our physiological design is geared to be fruitarians, frugivores. But though that's the medicinal component, that's the key. The micronutrients is the key for you to get healthy. That's the key for you to get away from the pleasure trap. When you remove the micronutrients from the plant, from the fruit or the vegetable, it turns it into a drug. And you load the body up with micronutrient deficient for, uh, food. It's not really even food anymore. It's franken food. It's a drug now. And it overloads the body, it overstimulates the brain with a dopamine rush that is supposed to be reserved uh, for sex and then a tiny bit for food. But when you, when you remove the medicinal value, it gives you that crack like high, that meth like high, that heroin like high. And we know when somebody is on heroin, meth, crack, they will move heaven and earth to get that dopamine hit. It's the same with food. So, yes, I stand on that statement. Food is more pleasurable than sex because the satanic American diet, the Franken food addiction, the dopamine people get from it is incredible. The Minister of Wellness Complete Detox Package, brothers and sisters, I created this package specifically to help detox from the medical decision you should realize I'm using, I'm being very careful in using cold language and all toxic overload that taxes our system, weakens our immune system. I put together, I, I had this before due to extreme censorship. I had to use wisdom and I had to bring it back in a different manner, but it is back by popular demand. You get the, the very powerful immune support detox gut health, mental health, reduce inflammation, the iris sea moss, the dull seaweed, and then you see that spot there, my book. Again, I have to be smart and use wisdom. This is the book that I have exposing the medical decision and it has the full detox plan for the medical decision. And this is all of them, all of these poisons that we've taken since our childhood, the overload of toxic exposure that is taxing our system. This is my complete detox package. The minister of wellness.com, the minister of wellness.com or call 888-847-8026, 888-847-8026. The big five brothers and sisters that are the most important, that is absolutely essential or you will be deficient. If you're deficient, you can't have an optimal immune system for the next pandemic. Vitamin D3 with K2, D3 with K2, B12, DHA, EPA, and zinc. Those are the big five, and we have those five available, organic, high quality, and potent. The Minister of Wellness.com on the store, the Minister of Wellness.com on the store. Or click the link in the description box and pin comment section. To where people will even get off meth, hair, and opioids, and their addiction will transfer over into sugar addiction. And we know that these witches, these wizards that are controlling our food supply, they put sugar in everything. They put white salt, another drug, in everything. That's a problem here in East Africa. They put, they use too much salt. They salt everything. And then even that's the danger with oils especially these canola oils you know there i mean all oils all oils are not created equal but i avoid you should avoid all oils 
But yeah, even the vegan traditional Kenyan dishes here, they cook it in oil and salt. And that still can create addiction. The best bet to go is to learn how to cook food with no added salt and no oils and definitely no white sugar. White sugar is a drug. It's a drug that should be illegal. It has the same. It does the same thing to the brain as all of these other white powders that come from plants that you see on the screen. You can almost you can't even hardly tell the difference between white salt, white sugar, crack cocaine, meth, heroin. It all pretty much looks the same. Because the same process is used. Go in nature. You take the plants and you manipulate it. You remove the medicinal value. That's sorcery. That's witchcraft. That's pharmacia. That's the pleasure trap. And that's 90. And that's your grocery store. That's the American grocery store. That's all that's in these groceries. That's 99.9% of everything you see in these grocery stores. Garbage, Franken foods designed by witches getting paid millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. They have brain imaging. They have brain machines where they hook up the brain and give you different types of ice cream where they manipulate the sugar, the salt, the fat, the chemicals. And whichever, whichever scoop of ice cream lights the brain up the most sends the most then that's the one they release on the market they go through painstaking efforts to make sure when you sink your teeth into that ritz cracker into that snickers into that pringles into that pizza they go through painstaking measures to make sure that it hits your brain with something so powerful you can't stop you can't resist it. You can't say no. You cannot eat fruits if you're infested with parasites. Those demons called parasites will sabotage your goals to be healthy. So the Minister of Wellness Ministries, we are affiliated with Zuma Nutrition. I have taken their parasite detox package with great success, and I know it will help you relieve vicious cravings so you can eat the medicine foods of God without it feeling like it's torture. The Minister of Wellness dot com and the store to purchase the parasite detox package or click the link in the description box and pin comment section so the ministry can get the credit for your purchase. Detox your blood today, brothers and sisters. This is the most important book that I have. OK, I have to scratch off stuff so that I have to I have to be smart. OK, detox from the medical decision. You all know what I'm talking about. Get that blood clean as soon as possible. Get this for yourself and buy a bunch of and pass them out to your loved ones. The Minister of Wellness dot com, the Minister of Wellness dot com, the full detox protocol included. The Minister of Wellness dot com, the Minister of Wellness dot com. This is evil family. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is spiritual darkness we're facing. That's the first step to overcome. That what you are fight, fighting is something demonic on a level never seen in the annals of human history. The satanic American diet is the biggest mountain you will ever overcome. And that's why some of you, you've been watching my videos for years and you still stuck at obesity. You 40, 50, 60 pounds overweight. You still can't stop and you love every word that I say. And you still can't get that weight off. And that's why even I, as the minister of wellness, shot back up 70 pounds as a vegan, 234 pounds, working my way back down. This stuff is serious, family. It affects us all. We have all been contaminated. Only very, very few of us. Have not been have not been contaminated by this. It's demonic, it's satanic, it's witchcraft. And we have to keep fighting. As long as you're fighting, you're not in sin.
Let me give you that hope. As long as you're fighting, you're not in sin, family. The Lord understands. He understands. And he's compassionate. He's long suffering. But you have to fight. When you cease to fight, you're sinning. OK, this is a beast. This food, this pleasure trap is a beast. These people have manipulated our brains. Many of you listening to this video, you have millions of parasitic eggs floating around in your brain, in your organs. You must go to my website and go to the Zuma Nutrition through the website. Purchase it through the website. Clove oil, uh, black wormwood, and a few other essential herbs that you need. And that can be purchased through the website as the commercial indicates. Colon hydrotherapy. Get that. Get started on that. Colon hydrotherapy. And get those parasites pulled out through that backed up feces in you. It's not comfortable, but we have to do what we have to do. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. With God, nothing is impossible. It seems like a dire situation, but with God, nothing is impossible. We can overcome this. If you know what's good to do and you don't do it, it's a sin unto you. He that walketh in sin, walketh, that means to give up. When you give up and you throw in and you binge, and yes, you're allowing yourself to be controlled by the devil. You have to come back, repent and come back. Just keep fighting, family. I'll never give up. I will keep fighting. I will keep fighting. That's what the Lord expects. Don't think you can trick God. He knows the intentions of the heart. You all need to be making sure you're tuning in to all the Bible studies. But as you're fighting this journey, don't think you can lie. Are you really giving your best effort or have you given up and you binging and you lying to yourself? You can't lie to the Lord. He, he will judge every intent of the heart. And you better make sure we have to make sure that on every day we're giving our best effort to fight Satan. Cry out to the Lord. Are you crying out to him when that craving comes? Are you crying out to the Lord? Or are you giving in? Are you starting your day off in the word? Maybe you have to delete TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Me personally, I wouldn't be on none of that garbage unless it's for ministry. Go to all my social media pages. And all you see is ministry work. Even if you go on my personal Facebook page, all you see is men. Go to my Twitter, TikTok. You don't see nothing but ministry. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be on it. It's dangerous, family. Because even sometimes with doing ministry work, I have to delete Facebook and Instagram. Why is it that I'm on there for ministry? But then I pull up and I see a reel with somebody trying to jiggle their booty in front of my face. And I have to delete it. This stuff is controlled by Satan. Satan is a roaring lion seeking to devour you. And we are being devoured by the witchcraft of food. This thing is devouring us family. And that's why a lot of us, we, we have a guilty conscience and we want to try to we want to try to elevate other aspects of our spiritual lives to try to pump us over. Uh, no, when it comes to food, we all in this. But we want to focus on other things. You can argue all you want about the Hebrew name of Jesus. You can argue all you want about uh, about the Hebrew name of God, about tassels. You can argue all you want about which day is the Sabbath day. Those are trivial matters, but that's what you want to argue about. But when it comes to this issue of the witchcraft of food, why are you not healthy? Why are you not at the weight you're supposed to be? We have to humble ourselves. This one brings us back down. Sometimes, let me tell you something, family. Sometimes it's our pride keeping God from giving us a breakthrough. Maybe the Lord not putting you, maybe the Lord not helping you overcome the pleasure trap as it should because maybe you're too arrogant. Maybe he knows, the Lord knows that, man, if, if this man or this woman, if I put them at their right weight, if they arrogant now and know it all now, and have a prideful spirit now, if they were lean and fit and healthy, they'd be a mess. They really have a fair acidic spirit. So we have to check ourselves, fam. We have to examine ourselves. We have to cry out to the Lord, which is why I've been reading the book of Psalms. You have to get in your word. 
crying out, Lord, why aren't you hearing my cry? Why am I still struggling with these things? And maybe it's because of pride. And that's why I always say I'm in this fight with you all. Lord, if there's any pride in me, if there's anything in me, the reason why is stopping me of my journey and health is slowing down. Get rid of it, Lord. Get rid of anything in me to where you won't give me your full help and support that I need to overcome this witchcraft that is destroying so many believers. Whether you call yourself a Hebrew, Baptist, Pentecostal, Israelite, this is the one sin, the one idol that is affecting us all. The belly God, the pleasure trap. We are all suffering from this. So let's be humble and loving and help each other and stop bickering over denominational differences. Your donations were critical to help me come over to the motherland and help to feed these beautiful children that you see. Uh, and so as you see them eating fruit that from your support, supporting local Kenyan farmers to feed these beautiful children food. And what I asked you all and what I was telling you all was that we did not just want to feed the children the fruit today. Okay, many of them will be going back to their parents and they can't afford healthy fruit. And so it is up to us brothers and sisters that have to work together to make sure that we are, that we are doing the first and foremost commission that God has given us. And that is to be a blessing to the fatherless, a blessing to the widows. So please, your hundred dollar seed goes a long way in helping to feed the children so that long after I go, I want them to have the, the fruits that they need to grow up, be healthy and strong. Many of them told me that they wanted to be a police officer. Who's the one that said they want to be a police officer? And then we had a child that said she want to be a nurse, wants to be a firefighter, wants to be a medical doctor. And now they understand that they have to eat the medicine foods of God to do that. If you have been blessed by me, your minister of wellness, I'm telling you, I'm looking you in the eye and I'm telling you, you are wrong if you ignore the call to give to help me serve these children. Do not waste money on things you don't need when you see that we have thousands of children that are in need of your assistance. And for those who have answered the call to give, may God richly bless you for your support. Thank you and Shalom. Pastor asked me today, a pastor called me and asked me today. He said, brother, he said, brother, well, do you believe in Jesus name only a holy trinity? Or do you believe in the all the denominate? I said, my brother, I will believe whatever my African brothers and sisters need me to believe to preach this word to them. Huh? So that's the pleasure trap, brothers and sisters. So these witches have done. That's what we're facing. But the Lord expects us to fight with all of our might. And he says to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, because our labor would not be in vain. If we are truly putting forth our best effort, our labor will not be in vain. Like, share, like, share, like, and share. I'm going to say a word of prayer and we will continue. I'm going to do all 12. I'm going to break down each of the 12 components. This was part one, the pleasure trap. This is just the beginning. And then we have 11 more to go. Let us, let's bow our heads for a word of, a word of prayer. And for those who uh, may not know, just to let you know, when I say the prayer, uh, I pray uh, using the African Hebrew name for God, our father, the Lord, and I use the version Yahuwah, the Elohim. 
Uh, that's the Lord God of Israel, our ancestors, and then also for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yahushua Hamashiach. Okay. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this, this time of giving your people the education about the pleasure trap. And, and Lord, this is, this is a difficult one. This is a difficult one. And, and so many of us, including myself, we, we know now we are facing demonic possession of the brain. Witches, high level witches have turned food into a weapon of mind control. And so I rebuke it in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Oh, Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, we need your mercy. We need your grace because we have all succumbed to this. And there are times when we have all thrown in the towel, Lord, where we have given up. We've thrown in the towel and binged and have gave up the fight. And you command us in your word to keep fighting, to keep pressing on. So forgive us, Heavenly Father for not get putting our best foot forward. We know this is the hardest spiritual battle. We know this is something wicked and evil, unlike anything else we faced. Oh, we've overcome so many sins in our lives, but we know this one right here, the satanic American diet. This is a special type of war that takes a special type of commitment and help us heavenly father for those of us who have fallen off Help us to recommit, to fight every day, every second, every decision we make. We have to be renewed by our minds. Help us, Heavenly Father, to get rid of anything in our lives that is not helping us to overcome our addiction. Anything, any person, any habit, any source of pride, Heavenly Father. I rebuke it in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. I rebuke it, Heavenly Father. I rebuke these witches in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. I rebuke the satanic American diet. I rebuke the parasites. Help us to take what you have provided for us to kill these demons sabotaging our brain and our organs. Help us, Heavenly Father, to put on the full armor so we can go to war each and every day. I thank you. I declare victory. You say it in your word. There is nothing impossible for you. You say it with man it is, but with you, nothing is impossible. Help us to believe that, to receive that, to stay in your word. So that we can experience the miraculous healing power of your ways of living and your ways of living includes how we treat our temples in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach. I humbly pray this prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And amen. If you are benefiting from me as your minister of wellness, if I help you with your health, if you are binge watching my videos, tuning into the services, I am telling you on the authority of the Holy Scriptures, you have a responsibility to help me when you see where your money is going. It's not going towards a fancy car, it's not going towards big homes, it's going towards helping the fatherless, helping those who are in need. And that is a great responsibility that we all have. So again, you know where the, the, the information is, where you can give so that we can provide uh, not only this children's center here, but other children's centers, not only just all across Kenya, but all throughout the motherland and eventually all throughout the world. So I sincerely thank you all for your support. And for those who see this, and you are one of those who continuously benefit from my ministry. I want you to take a look at all of these beautiful children here. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't give to help me to be a support to these children, shame on you.
and I am disappointed in you and I know you can do better than that. Thank you and God bless you all. God bless you all, brothers and sisters. That is part one of the third revision of the 12 components of food addiction. Part one, the pleasure trap. We have 11 more videos to go. This series will be, of course, in its own separate playlist. And I'll make sure it's on the home channel so it's easy to access, easy to find. Shalom. The most important package that I have for this time is the immune support emergency stash. So this is when, not if, when the next deadly pandemic comes and, and when we're locked back down, you don't want somebody coughing in your household and they don't have anything for their immune system. This is the time to get it. It'll be impossible to have these in stock when the masses are panicking. It's already priced at 50% off. You don't need a promo code. Get your stash for your immune system. The Minister of Wellness dot com. The Minister of Wellness dot com. This is the second package that I have. The Black Health Disparities Package. If you have comorbidities, you're not going to stand a chance. This package covers obesity, blood pressure, immune, diabetes with the blood sugar, and all diseases fall under inflammation. You get all five. There's no promo code needed. It's already, it's already priced at half off, 50% off. No promo code needed. The Minister of Wellness.com. The Minister of Wellness.com.